Hey guys, it's Feral here with part 2 of my Shadows of Argus mount guide. With the release of Macri, we have 5 new rares that drop mounts, or eggs that yield mounts. I'll be telling you guys exactly where to find them. Since last week, I've gotten a ton of data on the rare spawn timers, their mount drop rates, and the egg drop rates. The rares are on a 4 hour timer that starts on your server's daily reset time. Every 4 hours after that, the rares on Argus cycle randomly. Every rare is at least up for 4 hours in a 24 hour time frame. It's kinda dumb, but, you know, that's how Blizzard likes their games. I've learned that the drop rates on the mounts that drop directly from bosses seems to be a solid 5-10%, to while the mounts that drop from the eggs are a very generous 25%. With that covered, let's go over Macquarie's new rares. First up is Skreeg the Devourer. He drops the Acid Belcher mount. He can be located right here. Next is Wrangler Kravos. He drops the Madden Chaos Runner, which is an unarmored version of the achievement mount from last week, the Bleak Hoof Rune Strider. He can be located right here. This one is the Venom Tail Skyfin. This guy drops the Lambent Skyfin and can be located right here. These next two are the new Panthera rares that we can farm for fell spotted eggs. The first is Kara the Pale. She can be located right here inside of a cave. The last rare released this week is Sabul, who can be located here. With that covered, I'm going to mention that the Lucid Nightmare was found by the Secret Finding Discord at the end of last week. This mount is far too complicated to cover in just one video, so I'm going to direct you to this really nice wiki page that explains the puzzle on how to get this beautiful unicorn. It really helped me out because I was so confused on the last half and the wiki really helped me out. The last mount I'm going to cover today is the Pond Nettle. This is 7.3's really hard grind mount, similar to the sea turtle from Wrath of the Lich King. This jellyfish can be fished up in any Argus water, and I use that term loosely. Any lava is fishable, and thus can contain the pond nettle. Beware, this thing has a very low drop rate, like super low. Many people didn't see it until like 500 casts in, and that means the drop rate is way below 1%. And that's it for part two of this video. I'm probably not going to make a third video because uh, those are just going to be like rare mounts that you can get from the dungeons and raids and shit. So thanks for watching.